Good evening once again. I'm Victoria Carmen and I'm Cody Alcorn in the fall. Whether students come back in person will basically be up to each individual school district. Matt Koufax talked with some of our local districts here in the upstate and is live in Greenville with their reaction. Matt. Yeah, Cody, Tori, here at the Greenville County School District offices, they tell me that their recommendations that they received from the Accelerate Ed Committee today basically fall in line with everything that they've already been preparing for. They're preparing for every single scenario, but across the upstate, the whole Palmetto State, and the country, there's still that small matter of making the final call. Secretary of Education Molly Spearman says the state knows coronavirus cases will vary greatly from district to district. To this end, we have provided considerations for full in-person learning, hybrid models, and full remote learning. Making it the decision of each district is something that surprised Allie Miles from Spartanburg 3. Everything else has been this will be the state protocol. So to now say it's going to be dependent on the area and the district, that's definitely not what I was expecting. But she also says it's not going to impact their plans since they do have both online and in-person scenarios scripted out. It's right there in the middle. So many people are saying go back to normal. So many parents are saying no way we need to wait this out longer. So I wouldn't say we're edging one way or the other. It's the same for Terry Brinkman in Greenville County. We're in a place right now in Greenville where it's a little bit tougher to make some of those decisions because our numbers are going up so um, quickly. She says the county is preparing its own online learning tools in case they need to do hybrid or totally virtual options. Writing something on a piece of paper is one thing. Making it happen in reality is another. They talk about going back to school and having in-person school but social distancing and, and we have proven by laying out our classrooms that you can't not do both if you're going to bring back 100% of your students. The official recommendation from the state is that the final decision be made at least 20 days out, something both women say they are aiming for. It's that balance between giving parents time to plan and um, making the best possible decisions. Now, Greenville, Spartanburg, and Pickens counties, all of whom I spoke to today, tell me that they are aiming for that end of July window, about three to four weeks from now. That is when they hope to make a final decision on how attendance, virtual learning, and more will work. They say the hope is in person, but they know that may not be possible. It all just depends on where they go from here. In Greenville, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina V, 10 o'clock news.